What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video on the PD East Auto Repair YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do oil change on your car. The tools that you're going to need and how to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Alright, so let's start off by taking off our engine cover. I swear to you, I bought the car like this. And I didn't break it. And I'm going to go ahead and take this out. You don't have to, I always do. I'm going to move it to the side somewhere. Don't lose it. We're going to go ahead and take off our oil filter. Now, European cars are different than your standard car. Your standard car, your oil filter is going to look a little bit different and it's going to be underneath the car. Even if it's a European car, some of them are underneath. But this is a Mercedes-Benz E320 2001. So if you have this exact car, your oil filter is going to be up here. If you don't, again, if it's not up here, don't freak out. It's going to be underneath where the oil pan is at. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. We're going to go ahead and let this sit here and drain out a little bit. And while it's doing that, we'll go ahead and jack up the car and start draining the oil from the oil pan. All right, let's get this bad boy jacked up so we can have access to the oil pan bolt. Now, let's go ahead and take out our oil filter. We'll put it over here. And let it drain out a little bit more. Okay, now, let me just go ahead and say this. If your car's oil filter is not like that one, and then it's not up here on the top, take out the oil filter last, okay? Now, Let's say your oil filter isn't located where mine is. You'll probably, here's your oil pan, right? You'll probably find it somewhere around there, way before the tranny, okay? So, find your oil pan, it looks just like this, okay? And you'll find your oil filter. Here's our drain plug, which is located on the oil pan. It's right here. We're gonna loosen this up put a drain pan like this one underneath there once you loosen this up all the oil is going to come out stay clear put some safety glasses on because it will splash all right guys so these are tools that you're going to need to do the job you're going to need a ratchet i like this one it extends out so you can use it as a breaker bar 13 millimeter socket oil filter wrench um, the only time you really need to use this is if your oil filter will not come off with your hand, no matter how hard you try. Um, I've been there before. That sucker won't come off. This thing is going to save your life. Drain plug washer. It's always good to replace these and, all, and also will prevent an oil leak. So if you take off your drain plug, you do your oil change, and you notice that you got a leak coming from where your drain plug is, it's probably because, and you didn't replace this, it's probably because of this. Also this pick. Let me show you what the pick is gonna be for. The pick is to take off our rubber seals on our oil filter, okay? So we have four of them located right here. Good luck trying to do it with your fingernails. It's pretty impossible. So the pick is pretty cheap. Go grab one. Even if you can't grab one, uh, you, can, you can use anything sharp in your house, like a kitchen knife. So I went ahead and loosened up my drain plug. Got my pan positioned perfectly. And what you're gonna go ahead and do is make sure you got a paper towel with you too. So you clean off your hands so you don't get oil everywhere. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just start loosening, loosening this up slowly. And I notice if you push against the drain plug, you can buy yourself some time to position your hand perfectly. So right when you pull it, there you go. Okay, so while the oil is draining, and I like to let it, let the oil sit and drain for like 10 minutes. I want all that bad oil out so I can put nothing but good oil in. We're gonna go ahead and get to the oil filter part. Now, if your oil filter does not look like this, and it looks like an original oil filter, you just want to lubricate the rubber seal that's right there with some oil. You can use new or old oil, doesn't matter. Just lubricate it, tighten it up, hand tight. Don't tighten it too tight or you're gonna screw yourself over for the next uh, oil change. You're gonna have to be using that ratchet. So, what we're gonna do, oops. Oily hands, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start taking off our rubber seals. Just like that. And you see how this pick makes it so much easier. that and the last one that's perfect we're gonna go ahead and get our new oil filter on and our new rubber seals Top, work our way down to the bottom. Perfect. Was fighting with me a little bit. Doesn't help that I have oil all over my hands. Doesn't make it any easier. Oh my god. Sounds like a bomb just went off. <laughs> there we go, perfect. So, we'll just lubricate these up with the oil that's already on here. It's always good to lubricate these. You don't want to put them in dry. So you just go like this. Lubricate it up. Perfect. And, go like this. Voila. Okay, so let's get to our drain plug now. We got the oil filter and rubber seals taken off and put the new ones on. There goes our old washer. Here's our new one. And that's it. That simple. When you put this back on the uh, oil pan and it applies pressure, it squeezes down and kind of molds itself to the oil pan, which will stop any oil from leaking around these corners. So if you have a 2001 Mercedes-Benz E320, you're gonna go ahead and torque your uh, oil pan bolt to 30 newton meters. Okay, let's put the oil filter back where it belongs. My hands are got a bunch of oil on it, so we'll use our handy dandy tool.
Perfect. There we go. Take off. I don't want. Oil cap. Now that's all that's left, you guys, is start adding the correct amount of oil. Mine takes 8.5, so I have to pour it in eight and a half of these. Okay, let's make sure our oil level is good. This stick tells you how much oil you have in your car. So once you're done adding oil, or as you're adding it, check it out, make sure you don't pass. That's your minimum, and the max is right here. And it's okay if you pass it a little bit, but as long as you're not all the way over here, you should be good. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope this video helped you out in some way. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's something you wanna see done to a vehicle and you kinda of wanna learn how to do it, let me know down in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as possible. I do this for you guys, so anything you guys wanna see, I'll do as long as it's nothing crazy or weird. Don't forget to get yourself a little reminder, write it down in a notebook. In my case, we have over here at PDE Saddle Repairs, we have our oil next change reminder uh, sticker. So I'm all set, I have my reminder so I know when to do my next oil change. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a blessed day.